I hope y'all are doing well. Today is day five, the last day. We made it. So proud of you, sweetie. Today, I want you to open up Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, etc., any music streaming platform, and choose an album, any album. And you guessed it, we're gonna listen to the album and draw. I recommend grabbing some headphones and turning your volume up so you can really hear all of the noises. And like, don't focus on the vocals, you know? You can focus on other stuff too. Like, um, I guess like what it sounds like, focus on like what it made you think of, what sounds are you hearing, you know, what imagery are you getting from certain sounds. Also, sorry, my roommates are like laughing in the background. Um, it happens, there is background noise. Anyway, um, and yeah, just think about sounds. Are they more like rigid or organic? Um, it doesn't have to look cool or anything. It helps to just like draw lines and maybe change the pressure or direction of the line to the beat of the song. Kind of immerse yourself into the album. I know it's like kind of weird and hippie and stuff, but like honestly you can make something really cool if you kind of follow the patterns of the music you're listening to. And I chose Time and Place by Kiro Kiro Benito for mine. I may have been loosely inspired by the album art, at least like the color scheme of it, but I thought of a lot of bright and vibrant colors when listening to it, and a lot of organic shapes as you can see. I wanted to go for a more messy and kind of wiggly look because I've been really into that lately. And voila, there we go, that is your instruction. Find an album and interpret it in your own artistic imagery. And yeah, I hope you guys had a wonderful week because like, I don't know, so much is happening in my life at least, like I'm just meeting so many different people, I'm doing so many different things, changing up certain routines, and I don't know, things are like happening and stuff. I am really adulting and yeah, life is beautiful, you know? I just keep thinking to myself, wow, life is beautiful. Everyone I've met is just so amazing and wonderful. And, you know, even if I don't have a necessarily good experience with someone, at least I learn. At least I'm living and I'm learning. And that's kind of been my motto these days, just like living and learning, you know? <laughs> um, I've kind of been saying it as a joke, like I'm living and I'm learning, but like in a little sarcastic, like jokey way, but I really am, you know? Anyway, I don't know what that little um, detour was, but there you go. That is my wisdom for this video. And yeah, I just used a lot of colored pencils, but like, honestly, like, use anything, go crazy. Um, I encourage you guys to use mixed media for this one. I think I used a few different materials in here as well. And I just kind of uh, made the textures that I thought just suited the album, you know, um, very basic, but yeah. And also I've just really been into like, I don't know, like abstract, I guess, more like intuitive art ever since I started taking a sculpture class at my school and my teacher started calling my art intuitive, I was like, wow, I really enjoy this and I really like being called intuitive. <laughs> um, not in a weird, like narcissistic way, but just like in a, wow, I guess it is intuitive and that's really cool. Like I love feeling things and putting them out on paper or whatever. And yeah, I started drawing the face kind of loosely based off of the one on the album cover. Um, let me think of some good- I've been listening to a lot of like Black Midi. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Black Midi, but they're like such an abstract sounding band. Um, I just really like drawing to their music and like making art. I've actually kind of found a routine of different stations in my room of kind of setting up different things to work on in a short period of time. So like that's kind of what works for me I found. Like I found a system for myself finally and like i don't know it somehow works like about half an hour of like working on a giant piece and then half an hour of sculpting something or like getting my hands dirty um and then half an hour of like doing something academic you know like working on my homework or reading a book or something and that kind of balances out my system and while i do my art i listen to black midi and i listen to like a bunch of really obscure artists and like honestly it's such a vibe I don't know why I just haven't been listening to weird experimental music more, but it honestly is so motivating to just put on my headphones and turn up my volume to the most like messed up sounding noises. Like, I don't know what it is. Um, I feel like a couple of my viewers are familiar with like kind of experimental music. I mean, obviously like I don't have a single 
um, one demographic that watches my videos. So there's probably a few of y'all out there, but I really, really, I'm a music nerd. I really, really love listening to music and like finding new cool stuff and different sounds, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And like, I feel like that's most people, but I don't know. I have a weird God complex around it. And I don't know if anyone is like thinking of listening to weird and experimental music. Um, Death Grips is always the like, I guess the most popular kind of experiment. I keep saying experimental. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm just very excited about music, as you can tell. Um, that's awkward and embarrassing, and like, I need to stop talking. But I'm gonna keep talking until the video's over. And yeah, I, I really love involving music into certain things and different aspects of my life. So like, involving it in art is like a game changer, to be honest. Like, if you just start feeling music when you draw or when you paint, etc., like, it really changes things. Um, and I just love thinking critically about music and like, really. I don't know, processing it, um, I don't know, maybe I'm being weird about it, but yeah, there are like a few bands that I've been really into lately, like Show Me The Body, and there's a band called Weed, and it, it's, um, really good, I think you guys should listen to it, I have been listening to Deserve on repeat, because it is just such a good album, especially the first song, like, it is their most popular song, but oh my goodness, it is literally like, heaven, in a two to three minute time frame. I don't even know how long the song is, but it's so freaking addictive. I've listened to it literally like 60 times within the span of seven days. Wow, thank you guys for listening to my little music tangent. Anyway, if you made it this far, if you did the challenge, thank you so much for participating. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. It truly means the world. And yeah, we're pretty much at a wrap. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, for real. You're like paying for my groceries and everything right now, so that's pretty awesome. Here's the artist shout out, and I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!